Every Sunday evening, Catholics come to this Episcopal church in Washington, D.C. to pray, listen to the homily, and take communion. But congregation members here can't refer to the man leading the service as a priest. We're, we're being exiled from our church uh, in a church that is losing members. We're people who are fighting to get in and are pushed out because of the people we love. Dignity Washington is a group that was founded in 1972 for Catholics who were being pushed away from the church for being openly gay. But the leaders of this Protestant church, who are more open to gays, do allow them to congregate. I'm Catholic, and I'm very Catholic. I spent 25 years in active ministry as a Catholic priest, and I had no, no intention of leaving Catholicism. They're hoping Pope Francis's visit to Washington, D.C. on September 22nd might open the door for them to come back into the ranks. At least some acknowledgement that we're kind of the estranged children, but we're still the children. Gays and lesbians were officially described as objectively disordered in a 1986 letter from the Vatican. It said homosexuals were taught to lead a chaste life and groups, like Dignity Washington, shouldn't be supported or allowed to use church property. Francis's predecessor, Pope Benedict, described homosexuality as an inherent moral evil. But Pope Francis is seen as more progressive. He shocked many Catholics in 2013 when he said, if someone is gay and he searches for the Lord and has goodwill, who am I to judge? I didn't expect as much as we got from this pope, which was civility. It changes the rhetoric. So we're no longer the other side in the culture war. And the culture is changing. A recent Pew Research survey found that 66% of American Catholics believe it's acceptable for a gay or lesbian couple to raise children, while 44% believed homosexual behavior was a sin. Respondents were split when it came to recognizing gay marriages, which are now legal throughout the United States. But in other parts of the world, views are more conservative, and in some places, even hostile. Part of the problem is the church is, is a universal church. So in much of Asia, much of Africa, it's not a subject that can even be discussed at this point. So while members here want the Pope to continue his message of non-judgment, they don't think the Catholic community worldwide is ready for a wholehearted embrace of homosexuals. And a lot of people are using religion nowadays uh, to discriminate against uh, the LGBT community. So people like the Pope have the opportunity to make a difference. Um, you know, on the other hand, I think everybody's also sort of afraid we don't want him to say something that would get us hurt more. Members here say they're not looking for a revolution. They're just looking for acceptance. I think at some point the church is going to say, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's not make a big issue of it. You don't change people's attitudes by legislation or by papal fiat. It just happens.